What's going on everybody? This is Cars Videos by Andy Five here. Welcome back to another video. Uh so I have found one of the best uh this is not really a glitch, this is an exploit on Forza Motorsport 6. How to get over a million credits and possibly two million I don't know, possibly either a million or two million XP. Um and yeah. Uh this requires the NASCAR expansion DLC. Uh so if you don't have the NASCAR DLC expansion uh, do not bother watching the video because this will basically contain the NASCAR stuff. Anyways, the people that are here, let me get my controller for a minute. Um, so what this requires you is you're going to need a NASCAR, any NASCAR will do. You will also need to get it to P-Class. Uh, now, how you do it to P-Class, I will show you. Sorry if I'm shaking a little bit. It, right now, it's uh, 5.15 in the morning. <laughs> And I should be heading to sleep. So what you need to do is basically max out the car. Now, the way to get it fully up is to go to this engine. This is a uh, 5.9 LV8 racing. It's basically like a NASCAR engine, except that's way more powerful. And stuff. Uh, now, after that, you want to go to your tires. You can put a drag one, but as you can see, the drag one is not good. Uh, then you want to do like your front tire wear rest, your rear, you can change the wheels if you want, which is what I did. You can do your drive terrain like that, you can do the platform and handling. Uh, the best upgrade is the restrictor plates. Uh, you can see, uh, that's that's how I got into peak. Oh wait, what? There's another one I didn't add. Huh. Let's buy that. Also, uh, I did this for a whole, I did this basically for four hours and I managed to get this much because of that, so... Yeah, 11 million credits. That's not too high, but basically, like, after one hour, two hours of work for 50 laps, yeah, you get so much money because of this. Now, you may be wondering, oh, what's so good about this? Well, uh, you can beat unbeatable Drivatars really easily with this. Now, if you basically, if you have, like, if you have all your assists turned off, like, if you have, um... Let's see, let me show you. Basically, this is the assist I play with. Uh, if you have your assist turned off, like if you have rewind turned off, which I recommend, if you have your manual shifting like that, if you had simulation steering on like that, and if you also had like ABS off, which you don't really need to break in the NASCAR stuff, like, yeah, maybe you do. I'm also going to, you could do that as well. So there you go. Uh, there you go. You can basically do that, and then I'm going to turn that off, obviously. So, as you can see, race bonus, 61 credits, uh, 61% credits, which is not too bad. Oh, of course, I restarted it. Uh, TSC, manual, that and that off. So, uh, I've tested it out on Daytona, and holy crap, you can literally outrun... The AI. However, the car stops at 207 miles per hour. Uh, but the AI can't catch you. And after the... I think it's after the 4th or 5th lap, they start catching up. But you have to, like, block them and wreck them. Uh, but basically, they can't catch up to you at Daytona. Uh, I don't know. I've tried it at Homestead and... I've tried it at Homestead and Indianapolis, and I lapped them. I lapped them after the 7th or 8th lap. Uh, so you can pretty much lap them every time, and it's so funny, to be honest, that you can lap them. So I definitely recommend doing it at this track, Daytona, basically, like that, and the Homestead Speedway and Indianapolis. I also recommend doing it at uh, the test track, like this. I also recommend doing it at the Top Gear track as well, because you can see the Top Gear, the dip, dip, pff, top, top Gear, bleh. I recommend doing it on this one. Or this one over here. Uh, because if you uh, you can do a lot of laps on this. You can see if you do it like this. You will basically lap all of the cars. Which is nice. So yeah I recommend doing it on a strike. Sorry if you can't see the screen really bad. I have to hold it. Uh, I don't have a tripod with me. So yeah. I'm trying to think what's another good track that you can do it at. I think that's really the only tracks that I recommend doing it at. Uh, because they're really good. Because, so yeah, Daytona, the Daytona Speedway, the Homestead Speedway, uh, the Indianapolis Speedway version. Also, the test track would be good. Uh, and also, the Top Gear. Any of the Top Gear tracks would be good, except for this one. Do not do this one. But you can do the rest if you want. So, 
yeah, that's all I have to say for this video. I hope you guys get mega rich, and if you guys do want to follow me, I have two gamer tags. Uh, my first gamer tag is Mustang Racer 2. Uh, but however, um, I will be changing this to a different name shortly. And the other account I have uh, is Gamer Collector 7. Uh, do not friend Steel Habs. That is my dad. Uh, and he doesn't really like anybody that I play with. So yeah, uh, Mustang Racer 2 and Gamer Collector 7. Uh, I don't use the Gamer Collector 7 that much because I'm on the newer account, the Mustang one. So if you guys do want to follow me, that's my gamer tag. So yeah, I hope this enjoy. I hope this uh, helped you guys out. Uh, I hope you guys get mega rich, and hopefully we can play sometime. Anyways, I'll see you guys later in the next part. Bye.